Hey what's up guys it's me boy Orban Kasdey Kevin is back here with another brand new video and I hope you guys are having a great day so i'm here to give my thoughts on what made the 2023 season of formula 1 better than the 2022 season and without any further rambling let's get right into the video closer grid Though Red Bull was more clear of the rest of the field this season than last year, with Checo's crack in form this year, there was a fight from P2 to P20. We even got an exciting battle for the win this season twice this year at Singapore and Las Vegas, which seems like a lot considering the Red Bull's pace this year. Because the field was punched up close at this season, we had a battle for position in the midfield which I feel like the TV direction didn't focus on for the most part. The closer grid helped in keeping the unpredictability of the season going from track to track which kept the season more entertaining than last year's. Multiple podium finishes. We had the top 5 teams in the constructors championship finish on the podium this year which didn't even happen last year which is the first time since 2020 and this shows how the teams have adapted and improved with the new regs. We had the obvious Red Bull, Ferrari and Mercedes but we also had McLaren, Aston Martin and Alpine join the podium club this year. Ferrari took the pride in breaking what could have been the perfect season for Red Bull by taking the only non-Red Bull win of the season in 2023 at Singapore. Everyone scored a point. This is one of the very few seasons in which we witnessed every team in the constructors championship score more than a single digit point. Because the grid this year was so close, every team and driver got their fair share of opportunities to shine and finish in the points. So heading into every single Grand Prix, there was a big unknown on who's going to have the pace this weekend to take the podium or finish in the points. That uncertainty of not knowing which team would have the pace at every single Grand Prix induced an excitement and an anxiousness on not knowing what to expect, which held the excitement this season, which otherwise was mostly dominated by Max and Red Bull. thrilling quali again this goes back to the first reason of the pack being so close but the twist in quali was that even the most dominant car on the grid the rb19 was not able to dominate the qualifying sessions except for one or two grand prix that suited the concept of the rb19 better so the thrill and excitement of quali were more higher than the race itself this season with red bull ferrari mercedes and mclaren taking pole positions this season in both the feature and the sprint race Several teams that were previously considered not to make it past Q2 have made it into Q3 this season. Every team in the constructors championship and the drivers in the drivers championship has made it into the top 10 start this year except for Nick DeVries obviously, which again goes to show how close the grid was this season. I don't know if this feat would make its way into the next season, but nonetheless, I think this season's qualifying was just brilliant to witness. As session after session the top 10 was just harder to predict. Weather I think the weather played a crucial role in spicing up some of the races and the qualifying sessions this season with the sprint in Austria and Spa the race at Zandvoort being the highlights when it rains in F1 it allows more room for error from drivers which causes more incidents and unexpected twists and turns that spices up the race we had 8 grand prix of 22 monaco spain canada austria british grand prix belgium grand prix dutch grand prix and the brazilian grand prix which had the rain either interrupt or affected the race weekend as with the rain comes so does the track evolution and the uncertainty on track grip which when the drivers try to push harder opens up the room for more errors and incidents so i think all these contributed to making the 2023 season of formula 1 better than the 2022 season i find the ground effect regulation great as it finally has bunched up the field and has allowed every team and driver to fight for points and even podiums if they can get the concept right for the regulation which was proven this year by both mclaren and aston martin So with that being said I would like to wrap up this video guys I hope you all enjoyed if you did make sure to that like button and let me know down in the comment section on what are your thoughts on the 2023 season of formula 1 if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video it's me your boy Orban Kaste aka Vinesh and I'm out love you guys stay safe peace